What is Ethereum? It is believed that there are no prizes for coming in second place in real life. However, this can't be said about Ethereum. The world's second most valuable cryptocurrency is on its way to greatness, and if current trends are to be believed, it won't be long before Ethereum outperforms Bitcoin. At one point, Ethereum's price had gone as high as 4,812 US dollars worth, so what does Ethereum's future behold? Hello and welcome to Crypto Lessons, one of the fastest growing YouTube channels for crypto education. We've quickly grown to over 1,000 subscribers, so if you're new here, consider subscribing as well. Here we'll explain topics of cryptocurrency, NFTs, blockchain, and the metaverse from an educational perspective using analogies, stories, and examples with whiteboard animations so you can easily understand them. In this video, we're going to explain what the Ethereum network is, what is Ether and how to get it, should you invest in Ethereum, and what are my thoughts on it. So what exactly is the Ethereum network? In the most basic terms, it's a global network of computers, or nodes, that work together to form a type of supercomputer or network. This network is a blockchain network. This was originally presented to the world with the invention of Bitcoin. And although blockchain was pioneered by Bitcoin, Ethereum has significantly increased the applicability of blockchain in our daily lives. The Ethereum blockchain allows for the creation of what are known as smart contracts. These smart contracts can then be utilized to build decentralized programs, also known as dApps. These decentralized programs can be used for a variety of purposes, including the development of financial and accounting software, decentralized exchanges, lending protocols, and even new tokens or coins. What is Ether? The currency utilized in this network is known as Ether, or ETH as its ticker. When looking at cryptocurrency values, whenever Ethereum is indicated, it usually is referring to Ether. The Ethereum network was launched on June 30th, 2015, and the initial trading price of Ether ranged between 1 to 3 US dollars, before finally stabilizing at 1 US dollar at the end of that year. It's now worth just over $1,000 at the time of making this video. But not too long ago, it crossed the $4,800 mark for the first time. Another term to be familiar with with Ether is gas. A minimal transaction fee must be paid in order to conduct transactions on the Ethereum network. This transaction fee is referred to as gas, and it's always paid out in the form of Ethereum. The many nodes on the Ethereum network validate the transactions and receive gas in the form of Ether in exchange. How can you get Ether? You can obtain Ether in a variety of ways. The most obvious solution is to mine it. Mining Ether requires a strong graphics processing unit or GPU, and then you're good to go. Miners have set up many nodes all around the world to validate the transactions that take place on the Ethereum network. All of these transactions necessitate the payment of a fee or gas, as mentioned earlier. This gas is then converted into Ether and distributed to the miners. Every 14 to 15 seconds, approximately 5 Ethers are made. ETH can also be obtained through a number of cryptocurrency exchanges, of course. A cryptocurrency exchange is a platform that allows users to trade cryptocurrencies for other assets. Digital and fiat currencies are examples of these assets. Coinbase is a major cryptocurrency exchange that allows you to buy cryptocurrencies with your fiat currency. For novices to begin their crypto journey, Coinbase is probably the best option because you can pay using your credit card. It also includes a user-friendly interface that's simple to grasp for beginner traders. A crypto exchange also allows you to swap different cryptocurrencies for one another. For example, if you already have another cryptocurrency in your wallet, you can quickly send it to a cryptocurrency exchange and utilize it to obtain ETH or any other coin that you like. Crypto exchanges also allow you to withdraw cryptocurrency directly into your digital wallet. Poloniex, Binance, and Kraken are popular examples of other cryptocurrency exchanges. Finally, you can buy ETH using major financial apps such as PayPal, Robinhood, and Square's Cash App. But there is a catch. All of these services let you purchase, sell, and store Bitcoin, but your cryptocurrencies are not withdrawable from these apps into your wallet. You can only withdraw in one scenario. Sell them, and then you can withdraw the fiat currency. Should you invest in Ethereum? Ethereum is highly inventive, and the development of new dApps or dApps, such as we have never seen before, are compelling arguments for why investing is nearly a no-brainer. The dApps built on this network have the ability to change the world as we know it. These dApps have the potential to be a significant part of the world that we live in, dethroning apps that are completely centralized on Web 2.0. NFTs are yet another invention in the field of dApps. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, which means that each token is distinct from any other token. These can range from paintings to films to any other type of digital product. NFTs are becoming increasingly popular, and one of the most popular blockchain-based games, CryptoKitties, makes use of these NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. 
Furthermore, decentralized finance, or DeFi, is taken off with the majority of DeFi apps developed today running on the Ethereum blockchain network. Ethereum has seen a spike in institutional investment over the years. Grayscale Investments and Icon in the field of digital investments is the most prominent name in this regard. Where can you buy Ethereum? You can buy ETH on the KuCoin exchange just like you would any other cryptocurrency. You have the option of placing a market buy or a limit buy. You select the price you're willing to pay with a limit purchase, and your order is filled once the token price hits your limit price. But if you need the token urgently, you can place a market order in which you agree to pay the current price and have your order filled almost instantly. If you want to buy ETH, you can do it by going to KuCoin, of course, as well as Binance US, Gemini, or Webull. So what are my thoughts on it? The most significant issues with Ethereum are its scalability and the congestion it faces as a network. Currently, the network can only handle about roughly 30 transactions a second, which is far from enough. If Ethereum is to become the quote-unquote global computer, the number of transactions that can be conducted on the network must skyrocket much higher than where they're at currently. Ethereum 2.0 is being developed to address this issue. It'll be a game changer for the network, with the number of transactions expected to hit 100,000 per second. As a result, it'll alleviate the problem for many dApp developers who are currently stranded and may be considering removing their apps from the Ethereum network altogether. Another issue is that Ether is inherently inflationary. This means that there is no theoretical limit to the amount of Ether that can be placed on the market. Other cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, are deflationary, which implies that their supply is limited. The issue with inflationary currencies is that their value declines when additional tokens enter the market. The Ethereum network intends to address this issue through the EIP-1559 proposal. The intention is to progressively transform ETH into a deflationary cryptocurrency. This will be accomplished by burning the majority of the gas or transaction fees. As a result, a large amount of Ether will be consumed over time in order to retain or raise its value. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing to Crypto Lessons. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on Ethereum? Have you invested in it? Do you think Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin? Leave a comment below with your answers, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.